How do you isolate a variable? This section is not in your geometry textbook. It's a review of an algebra concept, but you are going to need it for class. This um, video is for task, let me write this down, task 6.2. Make sure this is the title at the top of your paper. Give the task title, and then this is the video title that's going to go ahead and go in the left-hand column of your notes. Okay, here's a reminder of what your notes should look like. This is the second video for task 6.2. So it would actually be the second video title here. You're going to write your notes down. And then after um, you're done, you're going to make sure you write your summary. And there's no video 3 for this section of notes. Okay, here is example number 1 for us. So make sure you label it as example 1. <laughs> We are going to need to solve the equation for x. This is a review of solving multi-step equations with variables on both sides from Algebra 1. So let's go ahead and review. Remember, distributive property needs to happen first because there's parentheses. And we get 4x minus 12 equals 6x plus 9. Notice there are variables on both sides. So I'll need to get variables to one side first. So I'll minus 4x to both sides. And negative 12 is going to equal 2x plus 9. Subtract 9 to both sides, and now I'll have negative 21 equals 2x, and divide both sides by 2. So x can equal negative 21 over 2, or if you used your calculator, or remember if you had $21 and you split that in half, you would have negative Remember, if you want to check this answer, you can plug it back into the original equation and make sure you get a true statement at the end. Okay, here is example number two. We're going to solve the equation for x, but this one's slightly different than the other equation. First of all, it is in point-slope form without a m for slope. Notice m is just a, a variable, not a number. Um, however, we're not solving for y, we're not solving for m, we're here to solve for x. So I'm going to go in and box x. Sometimes when you have to isolate a variable, you have other variables involved. But it actually reduces the amount of work you have to do because you never have to combine the terms or divide them or multiply them. They're just going to stay as variables. So let's begin. Even with parentheses and two unknowns on one side, we are going to distribute. And we get y minus 4 equals m multiplied by x minus m times 1 is just m. And remember, we want to get the x alone. So I'm going to go ahead and add the m over. So add m to both sides. Since m is not common to or is not like with the y or the 4, you're just going to write them next to each other. So we'll add a y minus 4, and then we'll add the m in equals. These m's cancel to be 0, and we get mx. And now, what math operation is happening between the m and the x? Well, you should know that is multiplication. So in order to get rid of the m and just have the x isolated like we want, you're going to divide both sides by m. That's the inverse. So both sides by m. So now your new equation on the left-hand side is y minus 4 plus m divided, everything divided by m equals these m's reduced to 1, and you have x alone. And this is your answer. Notice the x variable is isolated. I could go ahead and draw a box just around that on the, on the right-hand side. And notice that I divided everything by m on the left-hand side. And also, I didn't simplify anything since uh, the only there's only one common term with the m, and we are not going to pay attention to that since we don't have the other two terms are common as well. Okay, rewatch the video, practice the, re, uh, practice the examples. Remember, this is a review of Algebra 1. Any questions you have, bring to class.